Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome again to all those that are just joining for the first time. Um, I hope you guys were blessed by my previous vlog um, and if you haven't watched that it's linked in this video so please go and watch and if you remember or have watched that video or you've even been on my Instagram account you'll know that I have a giveaway that is live now on Instagram and it will be finishing, the giveaway will be finishing on the 28th of February, so next week Sunday. So make sure you um, follow the instructions on my Instagram account so that you can be in a chance to win this amazing giveaway. So guys, you've only got a week left, about for just under a week left to do it. So please go and follow and go and follow those instructions. So this vlog is going to be a continuation of um, the vlog that I had done um, two weeks ago and again that is linked in this video so go and check it out before checking out this one so you know exactly where I'm going to start off from but I hope you guys will be blessed by this um, vlog that I have for you and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already now this is my story, story. so as I finished off my vlog um, two weeks ago I told you that things started to happen again and something bad happened after all the good that was happening all the good that god was blessing me with but it seems to happen a lot for me <laughs> but yes yeah, so um that was in january that i started tutoring that girl um chemistry gcse and then it was around uh the end of january slash february and my stomach pain started to get really bad again so i remember i was supposed to meet her on a sunday to go and do tutoring but I was in so much agony that I couldn't go, so I had to say to her, "Okay, I'll reschedule." Because I thought, "Oh, it's just, it's just I, I'm used to my uh, my stomach pains now. It's probably nothing. It's probably just that I, I don't know. Maybe I'm overdoing it or something. Maybe I just need to rest." And how wrong I was, guys! How wrong I was, because um, after I cancelled that, I ended up having a doctor's appointment because it became unbearable the pain again. So it it was just a lot. And then after my doctor's appointment, I think it was a day or two, so this around the 7th of February, I actually ended up in hospital again. So this is February 2019. I ended up in hospital again. And it was just, it was horrible. I was there for about a week. And just being in there, not being with my family, it was really hard, being in a lot of pain. And just like as usual for me, they were doing all the tests, they thought that it was appendicitis, they thought it was this, it was that and when my blood work came back, my scans and everything, everything was normal but I was still in a lot of pain. Um, they were giving me medication but it wasn't loads and because they thought I might need surgery because if it's appendicitis you'll probably need surgery for it, um, I wasn't actually able to eat for three days. And they were still giving me medication at the time. And I remember one night when my family came to visit me, so just before they um, left and everything, I started to feel um, really unwell, like my stomach was hurting. And then my mum said, can you at least give her something to drink, or something warm to drink if she's not eating? So I remember them giving me soup or something and my stomach was hurting. And I was like, maybe I just need to go to sleep. And then that night I could not stop vomiting. I think the medication and not having anything to eat was messing with my stomach lining. So that just made the stomach pain so much worse. And just being in hospital was not great. I, I just, ugh, I, I really hate being in hospital. And that's why I really feel for those that are in hospitals at the moment and those that, uh, their family members, loved ones that you, that may be watching this, that have family members in the hospital or loved ones in the hospital, um, you're in my prayers. Um, I know it's not easy and it's even more difficult now during this time because if because of COVID, you're not even allowed to go into hospital to be with your loved ones. So hospital is already a lonely place, but now not even being able to see people um, is really even harder, I can imagine. So I'm really praying for you and I hope that all that are sick at this moment um, just make a full recovery because God is able 
but yeah so that's so I was in hospital by myself and I just just in hospital I don't know for me anyway personally every time I'm in hospital I feel like I just feel worse I feel sluggish because you're not really moving around I couldn't at the time I was in a lot of pain but I met God is always so um, amazing because I met some really nice people while I was in the hospital it sounds weird you're like oh you met people in the hospital but yeah the people that I was in the ward with and I kept having to change wards but the ward that I ended up in, um, I really liked the people that I was with and you just need that company when you're going through something like that and even though I was in pain, um, it was just nice to have people around you that you could laugh with, I couldn't do that much laughing but it was hard and yeah it just, it's, it just started to get really frustrating because I was there for a week, they were doing all these tests, all these prodding and ugh, gosh any of you guys that um, if you have unfortunately had any health issues or conditions, you know that when they start poking and prodding, it just makes everything worse. But I was just, I, I don't know, it was just a lot. And I just started to feel discouraged because I was like, God, um, I was first finally starting to do stuff, enjoy going to church and being able to stay at church, um, teaching, tutoring. And then now this happens and it hits again and it's hard. And it was just... I really and truly was struggling a lot um, and then just that feeling of not I've said this in a previous vlog but that feeling of not being believed because they're doing all these tests everything's coming back normal but I know that something's wrong but they can't see it so then they're like mm, maybe it's this maybe it's that oh, you'll probably be okay it's probably not anything serious even though I didn't believe it was anything serious but the fact that it's causing me pain it's serious enough for me and it, I was getting really frustrated but I was trying I was kept praying I was like God just please give me the patience because this is really hard um, I need your strength because I feel so weak at the moment and then I think after that week had finished I actually went back home um, the pain was still bad they they gave me various other tablets I think I was on codeine at one point and then now I know that I could, my body does not agree with codeine whatsoever um, because I went I ended up having to go back into hospital at the end of February again and this time was for a, a few a less days it was about three or four days this time and um, the codeine had actually made me start becoming constipated so I take the smallest dose that's the all they gave me the smallest dosage that is possible and it was messing with my stomach even more so it, I was kind of confused why I was given codeine if I had stomach problems and then I found out that coding that makes my blood pressure drop. So that was also very dangerous. So um, I went back into hospital. And when I went back the second time, I can tell you I was even more frustrated than I was the first time. Because the first time I felt like I was being cared for, like they were trying their best. Um, there's only so much they can do. But the second time, I actually felt like I was being made fun of or a joke. Um, because some of the people that were taking care of me well one person in particular um so i tried to explain so they were asking about bowel movements and stuff because they just assumed that if it's nothing to do with appendicitis or something then maybe it's something to do with the bowel like you're constipated or something and then i said yeah i have been constipated but i added that i had been taking codeine and codeine affects me um greatly so it makes me really constipated um, but in this case all they heard was um, that I was constipated so they just ruled it off as constipation and that was it um, and then they were like we're going to send you home so I think this was after day two they're like we're going to send you home then um, they, gave, they give um, you this laxative very strong laxative I don't know if any of you guys have taken it but it tastes disgusting it tastes horrible and it makes you feel horrible because it makes you go toilet a lot I'm sorry to be so graphic guys but I'm just being honest with you but I started taking that and then I started um I can't remember exactly but I started oh yeah that was it I actually started having chest pain after so after everything was cleared out because they said it was constipation my stomach was still hurting just as bad um and um I now started having chest pain and breathing difficulty so they had to keep me in for another two days but after like the chest pain had um calmed down and they kind of thought it was just down to stress and whatever then I asked to speak to another doctor because the one that I was um, with he wasn't taking me seriously and it's just so frustrating when 
you're already not feeling well and having to fight and have that strength but I thank God all praise be to God because he kept giving me strength to keep speaking to them to keep pushing and pressing because imagine they said if they sent me home and then I started having chest pains that night then I would have ended up in hospital again so thank God for the strength to um to keep fighting to keep saying no please keep testing and then I think it was the third day so the morning of the third day they said okay we'll test you for like deficiencies and stuff so I said okay so they tested me and um, the one thing that did flag up the most was my vitamin D was very, very low, um, like dangerously low. So they just kind of pumped me with a whole load of vitamin D and then gave me vitamin D to keep going. But um, they were like, oh, there's nothing else we can do. And the doctor that was in charge, the doctor that just fobbed it off as constipation, he was adamant just to send me home. So I ended up going home. And I can honestly tell you guys, I cried so much because it's so frustrating when you know, you know, with, you know that you're not lying, you know that you're in pain, you know that something is wrong, your body is telling you something is wrong, and you're not being believed, and it's so frustrating, like, even talking about it now, guys, like, I feel frustrated right now because, um, as I said, I'm still suffering with the stomach pains now, and I'm still frustrated. But God just keeps me going, keeps me patient, keeps me strong because I, at that point, I felt my weakest and not just physically, I felt weak spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Like I felt like my my brain was going to explode. I didn't even, I started to almost go into a state of depression. I was that annoyed and frustrated and upset and weak. But God, again, in his mercy, and God always, God always does the most, he always does the most when you least expect it. And at this point, after leaving the hospital for the second time I went in February, and also having to miss um, uh, like a, a weekend, a special weekend that they had with um, my church, well, with the churches in the North England Conference, and I was meant to be going with my friends, I also missed that too because of my two visits to the hospital in February. So that also added on to it but as I said God works amazingly in these situations because um whilst I was um down and I was feeling weak I just kept praying to God I was like God I can't do this without you I I want to give up I honestly want to give up I don't want to do this anymore I've had enough it's been happening since January 2017 and it's still going on I'm still not being believed and I just want I, gosh guys it's still hard for me to because I can think about it now it's not that long ago and it's just yeah it's just really hard sorry guys <laughs> just bear with me but it I just kept praying and I was like please God please just give me strength I, I am so weak I need you I need you so much and guys God comes through in amazing ways as we all already know like we, we all probably have testimonies of God's goodness and even if we don't recognise it yet. But um, about a week or, um, or so after that, so uh, after having hospital appointments and stuff, so it went into March and I was still having hospital appointments, but not staying in, but having hospital appointments throughout March. And then I think a week or so after um, kind of all the hospital appointments started to fizzle out, because they still were confused what was happening and they kind of just was like oh it'll go away on its own which was really annoying for me again but um after that god god did something amazing and this person doesn't even know that they were the answer to my prayer to god and i thank them to this day they don't know it but if they watch this if they are watching this right now then um i'm really thankful to you because you are on my answer um, to the prayer that I had and that was that um, after the, the hospital appointments fizzled out I actually was messaged by this person that I'm talking about on Facebook and they said um, I saw that you did a chemistry degree and you see God sets you up I s and he's always he's handing out business cards let's just say that but I saw that you did a chemistry degree and my daughter is really struggling um with her chemistry a level um and then she was like have you ever done chemistry a level tutoring and at this point yeah my heart was going because 
I had done GCSE and yes I had I, and you know what God had helped me through that with the one um the girl from church that I was tutoring with GCSE but I was like A level I was like I know I've done a degree in chemistry but God I'm not sure if I can do A level and guys you're probably thinking Chelsea but you couldn't do GCSE well you thought you couldn't and God did but at this point and I bet that you guys can understand this that even though God has taken you through something you still kind of like mm, I'm not really sure God because this seems a bit harder but God knows what he's doing he puts steps in so that to bring you to the bigger thing so uh, I started I was like okay and then she asked me how much I would charge and I was like I don't know I prayed about it I was like God I, d I don't know I don't even know if I will be able to do it but Lord I'm trusting you I still feel really weak so I'm depending all upon you for this and then God God um, told me what to say what to do and then I said okay well, God if you're going with me I can do this so I trust that you're going with me so I will say yes to this and I will try it and I will tell you guys God is amazing he answers prayers and he is working he is strong when you are weak because through the weakest time and as I said it wasn't just physically it was spiritually emotionally mentally God not only had helped me to start doing um, chemistry a-level tutoring with this person but um, she also did amazingly and I'm like God like I know this had nothing to do with me you know those moments where you could you know that it's a hundred percent up to God and it was only by God that you did something this was definitely those times because there were some times that I didn't even want to do tutoring, but I was doing it online, which was a new thing for me as well. And God helped me with that. And I started tutoring her online and she was doing so well. And I was just like, wow, God, that is amazing. Like, I can't believe all that you're doing through this. It was, it's only been a couple of months. Um, I'm not even the in the best of health, but you presented this opportunity for me and you've been helping me all the way through it and I just give all praise to God because guys you don't even understand I, I, I can't even explain I can't even explain or begin to explain how much help I needed from God some of you may be able to understand this you may be going through something difficult at this moment and maybe God has brought you through it and you're just like wow I can't even begin to describe what God brought me through but this verse that I've chosen is one of my favourite verses. There's so many verses I love, but this is one of my favourite because through all these struggles, this is the verse, like this is the pivotal verse, I guess, for my um, struggles and pain and all of that. And it's taken from 2 Corinthians 12, verse 10. And it says, Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. And I love this verse. I, I feel like you guys might be able to know, um, to understand why I love this verse so much. But when I was at my weakest, as I said, I kept saying, when I was at my weakest, God honestly was, was my strength. And I want to encourage you guys that it is when we depend on God that he can work to his fullest potential because it is us that sometimes limits um, God's potential to work and do amazing and magnificent miracles in our life because we we sometimes do not allow him to we're like okay God I know you can go this far but only go this far but when you depend fully and wholeheartedly on God he comes through in the most amazing ways and I can testify of that from when all this pain started in 2017 up until this point right now i can testify of that because it was it's when i'm in my weakest is when i am depending wholeheartedly on god that he comes through his strength becomes my strength and he did that through the tutoring um with um this the, with the girl that i was talking about for a level chemistry because um I, oh guys i can't even just explain it like I just, oh God just does amazing things. I just felt so overwhelmed with everything that was going on and he was my strength through it all. So again, I encourage you, if there's something you're going through, if you are struggling, if you feel weak, depend upon God, trust in God, trust his promises. 
because it is when we depend wholeheartedly on God that he becomes our strength, that he does miraculous things in our lives. He can turn any difficulty into a blessing and he can turn around your situation that you're facing right now. In this pan pandemic, you may feel weak in not being able to do anything for loved ones, for family members, even for yourself, as this virus has caused havoc in our lives. But we don't need to be strong because our strength is comes directly from him and God is willing to be our strength. We just have to allow him to. God never forces us to do anything but we are just to allow him to be our strength. We can rejoice because God is our strength when we are at our weakest. So I just want, I just hope you guys are encouraged by this message, that you are blessed by this message. To take, it sounds, it sounds so weird, it sounds so contradictory to take pleasure in your infirmity, in your persecution, in your reproaches, in your distress. But when we do, we will and we recognise that we are weak, it's when we recognise that God is our strength and that we cannot do anything without him. So I hope you guys were blessed and encouraged and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and to like, to comment and to share with others and someone who may need this. You don't know who it is that needs this, but someone may need this. And I just hope you guys will be able to join me for my next vlog. Um, and that you will go and check out the giveaway as I mentioned at the beginning um, so that you can be in with a chance to um, hopefully win the giveaway um, but yes I hope you will go and follow and follow the instructions for that but I want to leave you with this that is when we are at our weakest and then we depend on God that God's strength becomes our strength so I will see you next time for my next vlog. Bye.